parent does to every grandchild in every house throughout America. May, may I use you, sir? Yeah. He'll reach forward and he'll say, oh, Clay, how big you've gotten? What's that behind your ear? And he'll pull out a coin. Uh -huh. Now, the secret to this is every child in America knows how it's done. Yeah. It's no secret at all. It's like, well, he had it in his hand, and he hit it and pulled it out from my ear. And so my grandfather did that, and he said, okay, we got our half dollar. In 1955, a half dollar is a lot. We could do a lot with 50 cents. That's 10 comic books. And I said, wouldn't it be nice if we had more? And he said, oh, you mean like this? <laughs> and so now we have a second half dollar floating around. And that was kind of cool. And I said, Grandpa, we never have to work again. He says, you really don't because there's money every place. <laughs> <laughs> so now we got like a house payment here. Down payment on a Buick, okay? And I'm saying, Grandpa, what are we going to do? And he says, well, the first thing you got to remember, Billy, is that money goes as quickly, put that back where we found it, money goes as quickly as it comes. And magic money is even worse, because if you take a magic coin and you put it up here in the air, yeah. that's where it's going to stay. And I said, what are we going to do with this one? He said, you nuts, we're going to go get ice cream before the darn thing disappears. <laughs> now that's how we did the grandpa trick. <laughs> this is called flash paper. And when a flame hits it, it goes whoosh. I don't know about that. But there's no heat, there's no spark. So what I want you to do is hold that out. And as soon as it, just pull your hand back. That's all you have to do. Pull your hand back. Okay. All right? <laughs> no one has died doing this. We don't have a lot of hair gel on it. Okay, I think we're good. So just hold it out. Well, hold your hand straight out. Good. And as soon as I come towards it and it lights, just pull it back. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Go. And that's how we do the grandpa trick in 2019. Well, unfortunately, though, when you come up to a child and go, oh, what's that behind your food? Generally, it, there's tears, medication, there's something like that. And balloons. Okay, let's start this thing over again. All right, let's try it. Uno mas. All right, seven of clubs. There it is. Now we take the seven of clubs, bring it over here. Eek. Push it in. Push right here. Turn it over, and now the seven of clubs is back. Okay, let's try it. Uno mas. Take it here. Push it in. Push the little button there. Take the card. <laughs> it comes back to the top. Good job. Did you know she could do that? Yeah. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> a card, and I put my initials here at the top. Who want? Do you want to do it? Sure. Come on up here. Take and just put your initials like I did mine. Like that's the signature line. Or you can put a picture or whatever you want. I don't think I could have done it better. All right. Now, what this is, you've all seen the sawing the woman in half on TV, maybe. They don't do it much anymore because it's so expensive. It's an incredibly expensive trick. All right. I can't do that. Oddly enough, I think it's, I blame the Me Too movement, inviting a woman over to put her in a box and cut her in half doesn't seem to be politically correct anymore. So what I'm going to do, I'm taking your card, and I'm going to fold it, and this has to be done so precise. This has to be done so precise. All right. I will probably end up, yeah. I'm going to use the box. This has got to be just perfect. All right. Are we in agreement? Two pieces of card. Okay. Alright, good. Now I'm going to put it back together. What do you think? Is that close? No? Alright. Let's do this. Put my light in. Okay. We've got the piece. It's the way. 
I have to use a lighter. So use a lighter. And what I'm going to do is use the healing power of heat. I don't light stuff, guys. Okay. And what I got to do, now what I have to be very careful of is I don't get distracted and actually set the thing on fire. Uh oh. Good. Is it going? It is on fire. Okay, a little too much restoration, but other than the burn, the card is 100% back together. Whoa! Good job, Arena. <laughs> Thank you. Give Princess another one. What the heck? How did you do that? That's not our card that we wanted. But if I wanted to get it, I could push the button and it'd come to the top. We've demonstrated that, right? But I paid extra and I got the pop out keyboard, type the name of the card, and it prints us another one. Hey, what? <laughs> So there it is, we'll take it here. Whoa, way down on the deck. Okay, good. Now, you see that little light flashing right there? That tells me the battery's dead. And if I turn it over, that's not her car. That's not it, all right? So what I have to do with the dead battery, I have to kick it old school and just wave my hand and have it changed. And there you are. Something you haven't seen before. Thank you. You're entirely welcome. Would you like to take this home, put it under your pillow? And bring me some money and good luck. All your baby teeth will come back. Oh, I don't want those. No, to I don't want them. All right. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Really you have a good afternoon. <laughs> okay, good. And somebody go ahead and pull the card. Okay. And show it to everybody. Everybody here. Okay. All right. Okay, you may release the tiny plunger. Now, it wouldn't be fair. He needs to know what the card is. I don't. So would, would you whisper your card for the tiny plunger? How silly do you feel right Very about silly. Now, Oops. Yes, Sally. Hey. Good job. Good job, huh? Red, blue. All right. That's our first one. Uh, let's try this again. Somebody else, grab a card for me. You can grab one. You can grab one. You, sir, if you like. We'll, get the, we'll put you in the next one. All right. And again, okay. Show it to everybody. All right. Good. Good. Now, I'm going to have the tiny plunger read someone's mind. And it has to be you because you saw the card, right? Come forward. <laughs> Feel like a unicorn, don't you? Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Yeah. About three or four hours, maybe a little ice, we'll be fine. <laughs> the tiny plunger has pulled the information from this young person's mind. Looks like a three hour fast foot for <laughs> Oh, come on. Ha. Is that correct? The tiny plunger. Yes, tiny plunger, yay. You know, if they like you at Starbucks, you can get two sticks. I'm a big tipper, so I can get an extra stick. We're gonna try something special. Yeah. Gotta get these. Okay, who wants, to, I, I need two persons. You don't have to know each other. Okay, come on up here. You mind take the top off? And put a mark on either one of these little sticks. Perfectly done. Have you done this before? No. Okay. I need one more person to do another mark on the other stick. Close your mind. Make a mark on the other stick. Pardon the shaking. Okay. Put the top back on. I'm going to break these up. Yeah. Good. Would you hold out your hand like I'm going to put money in? I'm not. As I, if I was. Okay. Close. Close, close, close. Close. Just the sticks. 
grip like a shoot thing. <laughs> and you put your hand on top. I want to take the same power we harnessed a few minutes ago, the power of imagination, okay? The power of imagination. I want you, and you especially, to imagine that stick fusing, that stick coming together, that stick... Can you feel it? I can feel it. I can feel it, yes! All right. Boom. Oh, and... Wow. <laughs> Nicely done, ladies.